Okay, I'm back to work on the van yet again. Today I'm gonna to try and work on the kitchen area that's in here. I've mocked up how all of my stuff is gonna be in here, so let me show you how I did that. So there is my fridge. It is a 28 quart Dometic. It'll hold all my food down there, keep it nice and cold. It'll even freeze stuff too, which is pretty neat. Then over here I have my sink, which is hard to open. But, there you can see I've got my folding spigot, tucks away when I don't need it, and there's this big flat lid here that becomes countertop space when I don't need to use the sink. Then down here I have my little gas stove, runs on butane or propane, I'm going to run it on propane, and there is that. So right now I'm sitting right about where I'll be in the van if I have my uh, bed folded up into a chair. So I feel like this is probably the best arrangement to access the sink and get to the stove and be able to get food out of my fridge. I'll also have a bench on the opposite side of where I'm sitting so I can move to the other side of the van if I need to, if I need more access to one thing or the other. Now I've been mocking this up, not only here physically with the items that I have, but I also have been drawing this up in a program called SketchUp on the computer. I downloaded models that were very similar to these and size them appropriately to scale. And I think I have a pretty good idea of what the structure is the whole other stuff will be. So the plan today is to build a cabinet and a countertop to hold all this stuff in here. Hopefully they'll look nice when I'm done and we'll see how far I get. So I'm gonna go ahead and start rolling time lapses on that right now. All right, well, so the last few clips in this video might be a little confusing. And the reason for that is I have not done the best job of documenting the process of building this cabinet. And the reason is I've done a lot of trial and error and had to rebuild things and redo things and go back to the drawing board. And yeah. It's, uh, it's a frustrating and agonizing process, but that's kind of what happens sometimes when you DIY things. What I've learned is that no matter how much I try to sketch this thing up on the computer and have a mock-up in my head, it's not until I actually build it and test fit it 
that I realize what works and what doesn't. Case in point being that you may have noticed in early on in this video, I had just two pieces for the cabinet. I had the stove, then I had the sink slash fridge piece. And the fridge was ideally going to mount up under that, that piece. What I was trying to do is build the cabinet in such a way that I could relatively easily slide the fridge out of the back of the van and have access to the fridge from, you know, without being in the van. Also, the fridge is covering up the cover for the spare tire jack. So if I ever have a flat tire, I want to be able to get the fridge out, get to that jack and repair the car so I can be on my way. And the fridge would not have been able to come up and out of the frame because for one, it's too heavy. And even when it has food in it, it'd be even heavier. But also there's a cabinet that's gonna go up above the fridge. So there won't be enough clearance uh, to pull the fridge up and slide it out. So it's gotta go out the back of the van. And as I learned test fitting the whole cabinet, it just, no matter how I pivoted it or turned it, it just would not come out without moving the whole frame, which I really can't do. So back to the drawing board, as they say. So the plan is, I'm gonna keep moving forward on this. I, we cut this thing apart and made a separate section for the sink. So the sink is its own section, the stove is its own section, and I'm gonna build a frame that is its own section for the fridge. And I'll have to build that frame in such a way that I can get the fridge in and out. I think maybe it means that the frame for the fridge may be a little shorter towards the front, or perhaps there might be just a panel that pops off so I can get the fridge out. We'll see. It's probably gonna be something where I sit down with my SketchUp again and come up with something and then build it and see if it works. If it does, hooray. If it doesn't, I will curse and go back to the drawing board and try again. So anyway, I'm gonna keep working on that now. Hopefully I'll get as far as I can today. And yeah, so here's some more time lapses of me attempting to finish this cabinet. All right, well, that was a long day. It's uh, been pretty cold out here. Actually, the van had icicles on it this morning when I got up, but uh, I managed to get some progress on the kitchen. And let me show you what I have done so far. Well, as I mentioned earlier, uh, each piece of the kitchen is a separate frame. So like there's one for the stove, one for the sink, and now there's a frame piece for the fridge. And what I did with the fridge to deal with the issue I was having of getting the fridge in and out of the car is I added this big hinge down here. And the way that that works is the back part of the frame will swing out and then this would fold in. And then if I need to get the fridge out of the car, I can have enough room here to kind of shimmy and slide it out the back and uh, not have issues with it hitting the side of the van or getting stuck or whatever. And when I'm not doing that, I can have this closed up and eventually what I will have is a runner board along the back here 
and a latch into that runner board, as well as latches along the bottom here that will go into the countertop and lid structure that go across the top. So that is where I'm at with the fridge, with the fridge and sink and stove, the whole kitchen area. Uh, I would like to have gotten further on it, but as I'm learning throughout the process of building this van, the more I work on it, the more complicated things get and the more time it takes. And so I'm going to have to split this project up uh, at least over two videos. Uh, we'll see. Hopefully it just takes two. But next time that I work on this thing, I'm going to do the countertop and the lids for the stove and the fridge and the cutout for the sink. I also want to do the fancy trim that will go around the outside uh, as well as do the utility drawer and the door for the cabinet. So hopefully that will get done next time. So I think that will be it for today. Thank you everyone for watching. Uh, if you're new to the channel, you know, feel free to subscribe or go back and watch the old videos I put out uh, on the process of building the van. I think I have about five or six up now. So if you're interested in that, feel free to check that out. Uh, if you like this video, you get a little, little like, click the like button thing, whatever. Uh, or, you know, feel free to share it with someone else who thinks might be interested in van stuff. I don't know. I'm, I'm just rambling now at this point. But anyway, again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye, everybody.